Food to me is very personal. I mean, I'm very picky about what I put in my body. I'm very picky about what I put in my friends and family and, and even the guests in our restaurant. I mean, I don't buy stuff that I wouldn't eat myself. And because I've built such good friendships with so many customers that I can't walk into a restaurant and not know somebody. I mean, it's just, I'm at that point in my life where I, I, I just want to go see friends. I'm a, I'm a, lucky, I'm a lucky man. <laughs> I know the farmers, I know those guys. I have got a connection with these people. I know them, I know their names, I know their kids, and that's what makes it different about trying to build all your food off of what you have around you. I want people that are traveling from New York or Chicago to eat at Oklahoma and, and not have us remake what they have there. I want to own a cuisine. I want our whole city to own a cuisine, the whole state to own a cuisine. What we are is a blend of so many cultures and so many cuisines. So I have a very eclectic style of cuisine, and I'll own it. People don't come here for deep dish pizza. They don't come here for Cincinnati chili. They come here to have probably chicken fried steak, but they're gonna be surprised when they get so much more than chicken fried steaks. I love living here. I love the people. I'm not sure I could work with all the purveyors and the growers and the you know, ranchers that I work with. Right here, I feel right at home. This is not an industry that you just clock in and clock out. I mean, you're all in or all out. Everybody who watches Food Network kind of thinks, oh, I can do that, it's so funny. You, you know, you get to be a great chef right away. Well, this is gonna be my 40th year of being a chef and it took a long time to even get where I am and I still take the trash out every once in a while. So trust me, it's, it, you've gotta be passionate about it. I'm Chef Kurt Fleischfresser and I'm proud to be a chef in Oklahoma.